Hello everybody. I've decided that I'm going to take a break from shooting and blowing stuff up as a red and blue color oriented duo in 3D and blow stuff up as a red and blue color oriented duo in 2D. Welcome to my let's play of Gunstar Heroes, a game that I would consider, if I had to pick just one, would be my favorite game of all time. The journey ends here. No, our journey doesn't end here. Our journey's just beginning. Where is he? That light. It's too late. Yeah, I don't understand the story in this game either. I mean, it's different depending on the Japanese or, or American version, but, I mean, it really doesn't matter. The game is just, it's an action game. It's basically Contra. It's actually made by Treasure. I'm gonna play it hard. I'm going to play as player two, because he's blue. <clears throat> but it was made by Treasure. It was actually the first game uh, developed by Treasure. Treasure was founded as a group of uh, programmers who left uh, Konami, a lot of whom worked on Contra. This is why the game has a lot of similarities to Contra. So if you've never played this game before, you start... You can have free shot or fixed shot. They're basically, I personally think free shot's better. I think it's pretty much a no-brainer that it's better to play as free shot. Fixed shot is cooler looking, and he has cooler attacks. But it's basically, if you've ever played Contra 3, you know how if you hold down the R button, you can stand still and shoot. That's basically what fixed shot does. You, every time you shoot, you stop moving. And that way you can aim diagonally without moving. You can aim, even aim downwards diagonally without having to hang. Like, you can't shoot diagonally downward when you're on the ground as free shot, which I guess kind of gives Fix Shot a little bit more of a, a reason to use it. And then, of course, we've got the four weapons. Force, Lightning, Chaser, and Fire. And, fire. and I'll explain this later. I'm going to start with, uh... I'll start with Fire. I, I recommend starting with anything except Chaser. Do not start with Chaser. It's just really weak by itself. And of course, you choose your level. Kind of like Mega Man. So I'm going to start with the Ancient Ruins. Pig's Mining Machine dug up a gem. And, yeah, they're basically these gems that you gotta collect. Empires and attacking the natives. Save them. Oh no. Don't tell me I have to f save little bears again. That's one of the natives. So yeah. Basically. Another funny resemblance, similarity to the Jet Force Gemini is uh, you fight enemies on the ground and you fight enemies in the sky. Kind of like those flying enemies. Maybe I'm <laughs> such a good idea. You have a whole bunch of the other moves at your disposal. Like, you can throw enemies. Enemies are do ya. Do ya. Do ya. Do ya. My health is right there, it says Vitality. It's at 61. I need scissors 61%. And that was a mini boss. So yeah, you can slide kick, which does damage. You can also do this, the standing slide. Oops, skip the boss description. I think it's called like papaya tree. I can't remember. Well, anyways, if you haven't noticed by now, I combine my uh, flamethrower with a chaser. So that's how this game works. You collect, you can combine any two weapons, or you can 
You have two slots, basically. And depending on what weapon type is in each slot, whatever the combination is, is a unique weapon. And you can actually combine two of the same. You can see, I have double force. Force fire. There's a force chaser there. And there's just like a shit ton of enemies all over the damn place. I remember playing this game. We rented it. My brother rented it from the video store. He saw it, he picked it out. But the idiots at the frickin' place put the wrong game in the box and he almost went home with a game called Devilish. Which I've never played, but... Personally, I don't think it would be good as, as good as the friggin' Gunstar games. And then, uh... Yeah, I'm pretty legit at this game, if I do say so myself. But, uh, yeah, I mean, we played it, and our first level was actually the third level. I don't know why I just did that, I was pointless. And I ended up getting it for my eighth birthday. And I'm about to die. Harder and harder than I remember. Oh, no chum Lee Walden. It's a crap. Bravo, man. He's got spinning diver and driver. He's... This is kind of a cool boss because uh, depending on the difficulty, he's, he's bigger. His blocks are spread apart more. On easy mode, he's all condensed and little. And whenever he does this stupid move, he always revives himself. If I didn't, have, if I wouldn't have killed him there, he would have had full health. And like this game is just insane. Look at this! I'm sliding down the side of a Je uh, an Egyptian pyramid thing. Already, we're starting with the Egyptian pyramid things, and I'm dead. <laughs> Sage Christ, I just died. Fortunately, there's infinite continues, and I get to start almost where I left off. Maybe hard mode wasn't such a good idea. I was already doing the revive attack. Good thing I picked fire, because fire is very powerful. That's why I like it. It's a good starting one. Really, all of, all the best. Like, force or fire are the best. Lightning is okay to start with. Chaser is terrible to start with. I mean, Chaser is really only useful. Like, I mean, it's a it's cool if you don't like to aim at stuff. But, but I mean, I don't know. The fire chaser is the Probably my favorite weapon. This is a good weapon too, lightsaber. Double fire. Oh yeah, to do this move, it's kind of like the Hadouken from Street Fighter, but it's a one. Uh, it's a instead of a 90 degree rotation, it's a 180 degree rotation downward. So you start by going left, and then you rotate down, and then you press B shoot button. Not the jump. The slide kick is down and jump, but the standing slide is rotation and B. It's really fun to do once you get the hang of it. And now we're going to be Nicolas Cage and... Oh, no! Not the bees! Not the bees! No! No, my eyes! My eyes! Oh, not the bees! Uh, be? No, I can't say that. That's not my joke. Come on. And yes, those those robot gooses that give you the items, uh, they can get destroyed by certain enemies. So if I would have saved it from that, I would have gotten 
unlimited, unlimited supply of health, because that one actually has unlimited... Some of them have, like, the ones that give you health. Unlimited. Now we fight the Pinky Rotor. Hitman shot. Iron. That is Pinky Rotor. Also dubbed by my brother and I as the TV Boss. Version... Probably version 2, I can't remember. There's another TV boss in another Genesis game. Called Rocket Knight Adventures. So, it's the T... I don't know, maybe that's the TV boss, and this is just the TV. I'm surprised one of them isn't called the TV thing. But yeah, this is the pinky roller. That's pink, and I can't remember the other two guys' names. But the chick in the top is pink. And I am playing as blue. All the characters' names are colors. Basically. And it's TV because it turns off there. See? TV is turned off. And then they explode, and they team rocket into the background. And I collect the gem. And you see that? The TV is off. That's the TV that we turned off. And that was on the boss. Now it's off. It's the TV. That's, that's the TV. And... Check. We might have enough time for this next boss. I don't know. It's pretty long. Ah, forget it. I'm gonna end the video now and... I will continue this in part two of Let's Play Gunstar Heroes. See you then.